Hey everyone, thanks for watching Project Me TV. I'm Tiffany Carter. So I get asked to talk about this topic all the time and I'm finally doing it. And it's how to overcome imposter syndrome. So what I noticed so many people do is they compare their year one or their year two in business or doing the thing with someone else's year seven or year 10, or in my case, 11 years, right? That would be like if you're a high school football player, right? And you're comparing your skill set to a seasoned NFL player. That's not fair to do to yourself and it doesn't make sense. That's that whole comparing apples to oranges, right? Versus apples to apples. We've got to stay in our own lane. I understand the tendency, especially with social media, because you're scrolling and you're like, how is this person, you know, on the beach in Bali with a Bellini and making a fortune? And how is this person able to do this? And I have like 100 followers and I'm trying all the things. Well, number one, we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes of that person. I'm not claiming they're a liar. I just want to point something out to you. Okay, I personally coach several pretty big influencers in the market who have 500,000 plus followers and they're broke as a joke, which is why I'm coaching them, okay? So just because someone has followers or is on trips or is wearing things that people sent them for free, that doesn't mean they're making all this money and in fact, it doesn't even mean that they're happy or satisfied with that. So it's really none of our business to get involved in someone else's life or business. We don't know what the hell's going on behind the scenes. And also we don't know what leg up, leg ups people have had, right? And what I mean by a leg up is we have no idea if someone has press contacts, maybe their cousin is Jennifer Lopez, right? Or even like myself, for example, I'm a professionally trained TV broadcast journalist. So I was naturally already a good communicator, but my skills have been highly refined. So to compare yourself to me on video is likely really unfair to do because it's a natural talent that I have that I've put a lot of extra training and effort in. Just like it'd be unfair for me to compare myself to you for whatever you're naturally good at. Do you guys see what I'm saying? I, I hope you're getting that. So if you're finding yourself in that zone, first off, stop scrolling. Stop it, stop it, stop it. In fact, if you have to unfollow those people temporarily that are maybe triggering this imposter mindset for you, then I definitely want you to do that, okay? Because it's not worth it. It doesn't get you anywhere. Here's the other thing, right? We don't always know what truly is going on. So some people just show you their highlight reel. They just do, that's what they're comfortable doing. I'm not even faulting them for it. It's just what people do. I mean, last time I checked, most people aren't showing pictures of themselves crying, pictures of themselves, you know, banging their head against the wall, not figuring out why this launch didn't work or this product didn't sell or taking snapshots of their bank account with $100 in it. We really don't know. So when you're looking at other people and you're going, oh my God, you know, this health coach is so amazing and she has so many followers and she has this credential and that credential. So why would anyone hire me? Or why would anyone read my stuff? Or why would anyone listen to me, right? Because I don't have all these things because you're you, you're you, you're unique. So your unique audience and people who are attracted to you can somehow hear you because of your approach and how you're explaining the thing or teaching the thing or coaching the thing, right? They like your vibe, they trust you. You have a certain way of communicating that makes them understand what the hell you're teaching them, right? So there's a lot of things I teach that there's probably thousands of other people who teach it, but the people who come to me and gravitate to me want the Tiffany style approach, right? They wanna hear the cut the bullshit, the straightforward, tell it like it is, give me all the details type approach. And I'm not teaching them necessarily anything greatly different than from other people out there, but it's my style and it's me and my personality that's unique. And you guys are the same. That's what makes you different is that you're unique and you have a unique style and approach, and approach, which is why it's so important just to own it and be yourself. I don't want you copying other people. That's the fastest way to failure that I could ever see is copying someone else. Be yourself, own it, and stay in your own lane. 
any questions that you guys have about imposter syndrome or any struggles that you're having, leave it below in comments. And I'm more than happy to write you back and help guide you through it because I totally get it. I've been there myself. Thanks for watching Project Me TV. Oh, and be sure to be sure to subscribe, okay you guys?